Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM, where all night we're letting cinematic angels and devils battle for the souls of some serious movie stars. In the picture we just had, here comes Mr. Jordan from 1941. Robert Montgomery was fortunate. He didn't have to dodge satanic forces. His character was merely on the receiving end of a little heavenly intervention. But up next, Dudley Moore isn't quite so lucky as he tangles with these seductive powers of darkness, all for the love of a woman in a British comedy from 20th Century Fox from 1967, Bedazzled. According to the original theatrical trailer, you'd sell your soul for a movie as funny as this. And to substantiate the claim that this is an effective comedy, you only need to look at two names above the title, Peter Cook and Dudley Moore. In Bedazzled, the enormously popular British comedy duo put a swinging 60s spin on the Faustian legend. Moore plays a short-order cook infatuated with a lovely waitress played by Eleanor Braun. It appears, however, that she's a bit out of his league until a familiar figure enters the picture and offers Moore seven wishes in exchange for his soul. It's always a catch. Peter Cook wrote the script based on an idea by Dudley Moore. And while the film was more or less devised as a series of satirical skits, it flows together well, similar to any full-length screenplay that might have been handed to Bing Crosby and Bob Hope a few decades earlier, except far more risque, for two reasons. First, this was the late 1960s, and second, Cook and Moore were English. From 1967, also with Raquel Welch, directed by Stanley Donnan, released just eight months after Donnan's last picture, Two for the Road, with Audrey Hepburn and Albert Finney. This is bedazzled. As an emerging comedy duo, Peter Cook and Dudley Moore were, before the release of Bedazzled, part of an immensely popular satirical stage review called Beyond the Fringe that debuted in Edinburgh in 1960 before moving to London's West End and eventually Broadway. Then in the mid-60s, when Moore was offered his own TV show, he invited Cook to join him, and he did throughout the rest of the decade on a show with a title I wish I'd thought of. Not only, but also a venture that allowed their partnership to grow while they gained a wider audience. By the time Bedazzled went into production in 1967, they were at the peak of their success. As smooth as Peter Cook was here as the devil, few are as effectively slick as Claude Rains, who steps into Satan's shoes in the film we have coming up, a dark fantasy from 1946. Angel on My Shoulder is next on Turner Classic Movies.